Uh, good morning. Today is the 24th of March, 9 a.m. And I want to say to all our parishioners of Blessed Sacrament Church that our parish church is closed. Uh, following last night decision of the Prime Minister, uh, immediately after his decision I received a letter from the Archbishop with the Archdiocese communication. Closure of places of worship. It said, Dear Father, in light of the Prime Minister's statement this evening that all places of worship are to close, I am requiring that all churches and chaplaincies in the Archdiocese remain closed with immediate effect until further notice. Private masses, a streamed life, can continue. Concelebrated masses should only take place with priests who live in the same household. Please continue to pray for all those in difficulty at this time, especially your parishioners. With all good wishes, Malcolm. And I'm praying for all of you. I can assure that your parish priest is devoted to praying for every one of you. I encourage you to keep connected. We need to keep our community connected through our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and you will receive updates. This is our third update. I will be saying Mass exactly at the same time that is published in the Parish Bulletin for the intentions that are published in the Parish Bulletin. We are still receiving Mass intentions and donations. Uh, we will find a way uh, to set a, a kind of donation online, not to deal with uh, paper money and not to make unnecessary trips to the Church of Presbytery. Even though if you are in the roundabout or you are shopping on Walton Vale, you can uh, post your envelope with your donation in the office, but try not to make unnecessary trips. Only if you are doing a necessary trip on the veil, just doing your necessary shopping, you can put your offertory in the church, for the church, through the letterbox of the parish office. Providing that it doesn't mean that you are making uh, the trip only for that. We will set up a donation online. I have the duty to feed the faith of the parishioners and I will keep on doing that with live streaming every single day and providing resources. If you read the Bible, when the people of God were these 40 years in the desert, they were beaten by serpents. And God is so wise, so creative that he's always giving us the remedy for all the diseases, for all the plague, for all the pandemic. Read that again. When the people of God were in the desert and they were beaten by the serpent, God make Moses make a big serpent and those and he asked him to lift up the serpent and those who stare who watch at the serpent were healed. Jesus Christ is the healer. Jesus Christ is the one that those who were looking at were healed. In times of pandemic, in times of plague, in times of diseases, Jesus Christ 
was lifted up so that those who trust in him, those who put their trust and their sight in him will not be affected. We receive protection. We have the remedy from the pandemic. Jesus Christ, our faith. The Lord is saving his people. The Lord is so resourceful that he will keep his people safe. Even though, and after saying that, after saying that we need to look at Jesus, fix our eyes in Jesus, the healer, we need to be cautious and we need to follow everything as the Prime Minister has said yesterday. And even you can walk the extra mile. I think that this decision, this my personal point of view, came too late. So if you want to go further, you can do it. Avoid contact with others. And try to find new ways to keep connected. Make every time we, every time we live stream the Mass and you take part, make a spiritual communion. I will provide resources in our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And every time you take part in the Mass or in any prayer in this way, make the spiritual communion. And in the spiritual communion you can pray, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is a time to pray more, nor less. Use these resources. Keep connected with Blessed Sacrament Parish community. Keep your faith alive in this time of crisis. And remember, fix your eyes on Jesus. He is the only one who can truly heal the whole world. And tomorrow, 12 noon in Italy, in Rome, in the Vatican, 11 a.m. in Great Britain, the Pope invites us to the chain of prayer. We'll pray with the Pope tomorrow, 11 a.m. in Britain, 12 noon in the Vatican. We need to be united in prayer because the victory is his. He is the healer. He is the one who take care of us. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.